There were eight police ranks and three prisoners, one being a female who were in the police minibus at the time of the accident. The ranks and prisoners began traveling early Friday morning from Essequibo, and when the accident took place, they were in the vicinity of Iflot. Businessman Tuliram Tawari told the newsroom that he was praying at the time when he heard an impact but ignored it until his daughter told him a vehicle ran into the garage. When I come out, I see the police bus in the garage. Police body down, um, hot. Some of them foot break. Some of them flesh come out of the foot. The guns, the guns scatter out the place. You know. Um, then when I do find out, a truck was coming from Puerto side, and he turned in, and the police bus was coming with a fast rate, and they had on a siren, but the truck keep turning, so they couldn't, they were to collide with the truck. That would be more fatal. So he had to take the, the car now, right? And he had to end up in a... Taxi drivers who were close by confirmed that the minibus registered to the Guyana police force was indeed using its sirens. And while some vehicles heeded the siren, the trailer either failed to hear the songs or ignored it altogether. Tiwari said the police asked him for an estimate for the damaged garage and the impact of the minibus caused the uprooting of some concrete and metal stumps the businessman placed on the government reserve given previous experiences. They put up the bar of his safety, not for me alone, for the public. Because we selling ice cream and drink and them thing, you know, children are coming by and stay down here. Right? They try to keep them. Now, if it wasn't the barrier, the boss would end up in the, in the drugstore. If it wasn't this barrier and that um, wall. That's why I keep putting up the barriers. This is part of the debris that was left as a result of that accident this morning involving that police vehicle and that lorry. As you could see, there was also a vehicle that was parked in the garage at the time of the accident. This is a structure that is made of uh, steel and concrete. As you could see here, we had four that were completely um, uprooted because of that impact this morning. The injured ranks and prisoners were taken to the West Demerara Regional Hospital where they were treated. The newsroom was advised that none of the occupants of the bus suffered life-threatening injuries. Over at the Lenovo Police Station, the mangled police minibus was parked in the compound. Its state told the story of a hard impact and the use of heavy tools to rescue at least one rank who was trapped inside. Divisional Commander Assistant Commissioner of Police Leslie James commented on the issue when approached by the newsroom. The bus was extensively damaged. I understand that a female police rank was trapped initially in the vehicle and with the assistance of the fire department at Lenora, they were able to have her taken out, extracted from that vehicle. A number of ranks were injured, some sustained broken legs, bruises and other minor injuries. At least two, two of the prisoners, inclusive of a female, also sustained injuries. I think what is important, no one has died. So far, I have not received any report of anyone having died. Uh, the injuries, I also was told, are not necessarily life-threatening. Uh, all of the weapons, rungs inclusive, are intact. All of the prisoners are also intact. The driver of the trailer up the press time was still in custody. What you're seeing is what is left of that vehicle after passengers, both police and prisoners, were injured in that accident this morning. I'm Leroy Smith reporting for the newsroom in the compound of the Lenovo Police Station.